Welcome, welcome Libras, welcome to Kiki's Doorway. Let's see what your soulmate wants to be revived for November 3rd to November 5th, 2018. Let's see. God, Gaia, God, Goddess, Mother, Father. What does Mr. and Miss Libra's soulmate want to revive for November 3rd to November 5th? With actions when Mr. and Miss Libra Sonic will be taking action both mentally, physically, emotionally, financially from November 3rd to November 5th, 2018. Masculine Libras, your soulmate has revived understanding how they have met you as a knight in their past life. Both you and your soulmate, Mr. or Master Libras, are very loyal and dedicated. You not just stand up for yourself, but you stand up for others. This is why you and your soulmate connect to each other. That is one of your core beliefs and your core values. Female Libras, your soulmate and you have connected in biblical times, where at moments where Finding out what does it mean to have a moral fiber or have morality as a human being. You and your soulmate have met in any biblical time period. Whether it be if you're Islamic, Muslim, the Judah faith, Kabbalah. If you're into deities, mythologies. You and your soulmate, whatever it is, your soulmate is genuinely connected to you in that regard. When it comes to biblical principles and teachings, it's all about morality. This is what you and your soulmate will be experiencing and demonstrating in this life. Masculine Libras, your soulmate and yourself are beginning, close to beginning the end of your cycle. You're becoming that trailblazer. You're in the house of Sagittarius, which is all about going after the things that you want. But you're using not just your passion, which requires your fire energy. You're using your water energy, which is connected to our emotions and to our intuitions. What our gut makes us feel. And when we feel something in our gut, it makes us and revives us, advises us to relook at those things. So whatever your emotions is telling you to look at, Now's the time to look at those things that you feel emotionally or intu intuitively connected to. Your soulmate is doing these things because that is what a knight does. When they feel it's the need to go and move forward for their king and queen or for their, their community, that's what they will do. Your wish, you and your soulmate wish is coming true at this moment for becoming more or showing your loyalty and dedication. Concerns is fading away. A love of life is appearing. Female Libras, your soulmate. Yes, female Libras, you and your soulmate are seeing how connecting to who you are morally or the things that you consider moral principles will give you that energy to become that knight of earth and to become very loyal and dedicated to who you are and your craft. Okay. Just thinking about this, the Knight of Earth, the Knight of Pinnacle is slow moving. Um, female Libras, you and your soulmate is becoming the steady soldier or the steady person wins the race. It's all about the tempo. You and your soulmate are becoming your own tempo and how you manifest in this world and how you will show your dedication, your honorable nature. So, yes, it's going to be time to buckle down because you're going to see how you can get things done by setting your own tempo. What does that mean? Do you have your own time frame in which you want to do your business and which you want to set your service and which you want to show your morality to others and to yourself? These are the things you will be thinking about in your soulmate. 
You are your own guardian angel. Yes, Miss Libra, you and your soulmate are guardian angels for others, but now you're going to be that guardian angel for yourself. Masculine Libras, your soulmate and yourself are becoming that knight of air. So again, you're taking charge of what you want to manifest in your world. You're using your intuition. You're using your emotions. You're using your dedication, your loyalty to not just yourself, but to your family, to your friends, to what you love. When you do that, you're bringing out your intelligence. People see your decisive nature. They see you as very tireless in how you go about your drive and how you go about the things that you're truly emotionally connected to. Mr. Libra, Masculine Libra, this is what your soulmate, this is the trait that your soulmate has as well. So events that occur with great speed, you have the ability to match that speed. You know exactly how you want to handle and how you want to tackle it. So take the time to carefully review Revive your options and be that creative spirit that you are. You are in the ninth house, so you will be go-getting at whatever you do. So take this time to see how you want to be creative as you become that go-getter. Masculine Libras, this is what your soulmate is doing as well. Female Libras, your soulmate including you, have seen that the slow yet steady the one that keeps their own tempo, the one that knows that they're their own magician, you and your soulmate is becoming victorious. Good news is on its way. For you and your soulmate, you're in the house of Virgo. It's all about how you give and take to yourself. How you give and take to yourself passionately will show people how you value your morality, your self-worth. And this will become a public recognition, and you will be rewarded for this, including your soulmate. So until we meet again, Mr. and Miss Libras, Mr. and Miss Libras, you are the scale that holds our soul, that makes sure our soul is light as a feather. Now you're becoming that soul to represent what it looks like to be light as a feather. Claim it. When you do, you and your soulmate will be very victorious in that direction. I love you. I love you, Libras. In the description box below, I always leave a paragraph, a description, for us to use as a template, a map, or navigation. Whenever you get a chance, look at the description box below. I love you, Libras. We will see you on the other side.